What's going on guys? I'm the Walrus Jedi and in today's video I will be talking about this interesting bit of news. Uh, let's let's get into it. Daisy Ridley's new Star Wars director says it's about time we had a female filmmaker come forward to shape the galaxy far far away. Alright, I'm just going to read this paragraph. Daisy Ridley's Ray is coming back to the big screen in a new Star Wars movie directed by Charmaine Obeid Chinoy, Miss Marvel, and written by Stephen Knight, Peaky Blinders. The film makes Obeid Chinoy the first woman and person of color to direct a Star Wars feature film. Previous film directors in the franchise include original creator George Lucas, Irving Kirshner, who did Empire, Richard Marquand, who did Jedi, J.J. Abrams, who did The Force Awakens and Rise of Skywalker, and Ryan Johnson, who did The Last Jedi. While Star Wars television projects have featured female directors, most notably Deborah Chow, the movies have shut them out until now. And she says, I'm very thrilled about the project because I feel that we're about to create... What we're about to create is something very special, Obeyed Chinoy recently told CNN. We're in 2024 now, and it's about time we had a woman come forward to shape a story in a galaxy far, far away. Alright, yeah, so what do I think about this? Uh, well, honestly, I think this is a foolish... The, the, this is foolish to say because it shouldn't be about, oh, we need more women in Star Wars or more black people or whatever. It's like, it's nice to have all those things in it, sure, but... That shouldn't be your focus. Your focus should be telling fantastic stories with great characters. And the fact that we haven't really heard much story-wise about this movie, but we're hearing quite a bit about how this director, you know, thinks it's awesome and to make men uncomfortable and whatnot and just all this nonsense. Yeah, it's like, this is, this is going to flop. I don't think this movie will do very good. I I mean, who's excited for a Ray movie anyways? Um, this is a this is this is a brain dead decision to do. Like basically their last Star Wars movie was Rise of Skywalker, a sequel trilogy movie about Ray, and they're not that popular. They're not the most popular Star Wars movies. And what's the next movie they're going to do after taking a break? More sequel stuff, more Ray, more... I don't know, who else is it going to be in there, but who cares? Um, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's doubling down on stuff that I most people do not want, but, you know... Yeah, I guess they want Star Wars to be dead and, you know, can never come back because... You make this movie, it's going to flop. It's not going to be profitable at the very least. So, uh, they're wasting their time and money and resources and everything. And, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can find a picture of her. No, of course not. Why would they put a picture in here? Let's see. Let's go back and we'll just see if we can find a picture of, of her. But, uh, anyways, yeah. I just don't think this is um, smart. This is an uh, intelligent decision, but that's modern day Lucasfilm for you. They don't make intelligent decisions when it comes to Star Wars. I mean, all their shows and things. There, there are tons of ideas that like fans have. That I mean, I don't know why they got rid of the EU. Because they could have used that as a basis and basically just made adaptations of books and comics as TV shows or movies. Like, why not do that? That would have been cool. Instead of just cherry pit, you know, or instead of basically making it not canon, but, oh, we can go back to it and, well, we like, you know, Revan. He's pretty cool, so let's add him somehow into our can and uh, and like Mara Jade or whoever it's like that's all they do they take little ideas or characters or maybe even some major plot points and basically do do a worse job of 
that representing that character or telling that story or whatever it may be so yeah let's see here if this has a picture of her I think it does so far no Ugh, who, who does this people jeez do you have a picture get rid of all this crap jeez all these dumb pop-ups and nonsense what go away ah uh, there's a picture of her so so you know that's who's going to be directing a Star Wars movie. And, you know, her previous body of work... Actually, let's look up her IMDb. It's not that impressive. It's not... She's not someone that uh, you would probably pick for a Star Wars movie, but... Hey. Uh, you know, Kathleen Kennedy knows better. So, uh, here's her IMDb. Let's see what projects she's done. What has she done to earn the directing job of a Star Wars movie? Let's see. So she... Let's go to her directing stuff. Because that's kind of what's most important. Director. Previous. What has she done? Oh, Miss Marvel. Show no one watched. Two episodes. And then a show called Fundamental Gender Justice No Exceptions. Oh, lovely. Then you got something called Satara, Let Girls Dream. Never heard of that. Freedom Fighters, never heard of that. Now these might be, but they're probably foreign things, I don't know. Three, Bahadur, Rise of the Warriors. Yeah. This not not a whole lot of, yeah, stuff that, I don't know. Definitely someone that's about... Uh, women stuff which isn't necessarily a bad thing but she's also an activist uh, yeah and uh, yeah nothing's wrong with being an activist but I feel like it could take over and that's all you're gonna you're, you're gonna do some weird activist type story with Ray and make her even less likable than she already is but uh I don't know. Well, I feel like I've talked about this for long enough. Um, and, oh, one other thing. The fact that it's like she's the first female this and that. Like, she is she is along from the first female to help shape Star Wars. I mean, the president of Lucasfilm is a woman. And, like it or not, she's shaped Star Wars as we know it right now and you know yeah in my opinion she's done a really poor job but she still has shaped star wars you don't necessarily need to be a director of a star wars movie to shape star wars because but if you look there's there's you know writers that are women of comics and books and uh, worked on video games and everything it just doesn't make sense um, so, yeah, this, this whole thing is, yeah, and, uh, yeah, how big of a flop do you think the, uh, the movie will be, how much money do you think it'll make at the box office, and, uh, yeah, in terms of, uh, yeah, like, I'd like to know your opinion on your, on this, like, yeah, what, what's your thoughts of this, um, so, yeah can let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, found it interesting or in informative, please consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, thanks for watching.